I'm your state capital reporter, Alana Johnson. In response to the state's education budget passed over the summer, House Republicans proposed a plan to protect the jobs of those in the education system. I'll break down the plan, why this is coming now, and the Democratic response. Schools in our neighborhoods could receive more money for safety and mental health under a plan announced Monday by House Republicans. Districts could decide how specifically to spend the money. This plan fully restores the school safety and mental health funding that was cut in this year's budget. Across the state and in our neighborhoods, districts saw hundreds of thousands of dollars less than what they planned to receive. That's because the actual numbers were cut in the final budget. That was a mistake. Republican state representatives say the plan focuses on supporting students to set them up for success. When they have purpose and passion, families thrive, businesses flourish, and communities grow. The plan also includes adding dual enrollment to include trades, give alternatives to state testing, and review curriculum to better help students. Students need to have a customized education. They need to have a personalized cur curriculum to them. So every kid is different, and so they need to have options. The plan calls for additional spending of at least $300 million. Democratic representatives say the proposal lacks a concrete plan to execute it. I see a lot of platitudes and no real plan or action. Anything that we put on the table will be workable. Both parties agree that no matter the plan, it's about supporting Michigan students. We are here to fight for the average American. Michigan is worth it. There is no timeline at the moment for when this plan could be approved. At the Capitol, Alana Johnson, Fox 47 News.